<clears throat> How is it on my framing or on my head? Uh, a little bit more to the. Alright, that's better. That's how it feels, huh? That's funny. It says recording, right? I think I heard it. And that button's red. Ah, oh, man. Alright. This trip to the Keys has been really cool. I have seen the sunset every night and the sunrise every day. I think this was a really challenging project. See, nobody will understand that while filming this, we were getting eaten alive, I lost a screw, and the smell here is atrocious. <laughs> I'm excited to see how I put it together uh, and what this story ends up being like because really I have no idea. Josh, I want to say I'm proud of you. No matter what happened, it really doesn't matter because I was just here to tell your story and capture your experience. I think it was awesome to support you in this way and to capture some real moments and memories that will last forever. Future Brandon, bring more people in to your projects. Build a team because doing it all by myself is draining and having others to support me will be crucial as these projects get bigger and bigger. So I wanted to take a moment and just like reflect on where I'm at currently. I have just completed going through all of the raw footage. I had about three and a half hours of raw footage and I went through and I found a good section and then I cut that section and raised it to the second track. And I also did that with the interviews. So I listened through, found a good part where he says something valuable. This is an organized timeline of his race. Here's just shots of his crew. Here's shots of just him running. And then for the interview, I have it grouped based on topic. I don't even have a song yet. I don't know how I'm gonna start the video. I don't know how I'm gonna end it. I don't know the general plot. Where I'm at right now is a whole lot of a blank slate. You see this black screen right here? This is what I have. I have a black screen and I have nothing on my timeline, nothing at all. And when I hit play, absolutely nothing happens because there's nothing there. And I'm going to turn this into a video. I'm going to turn this into an engaging video. This black screen, this empty canvas will be an engaging video that hopefully connects with people emotionally from this black screen and absolutely nothing on my timeline. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't have a black screen anymore. Um, <laughs> the first few seconds are always the hardest because you're setting the pace for the film. I don't even know how I'm feeling about the music choice. I don't know. Everything is all kind of in the air. I'm just like pressing all the buttons to at least have something out. You know, like drop my ideas onto the screen and then just see how they play out kind of thing. It's so funny because you watch it and it's just like, oh, yep, there's a video, but that took me so freaking long. I don't even know if I like it. If you, if you watch a video and it engages you, you will never know the amount of effort that went into it. The looking through all the footage and finding the best parts. Like I have hours of footage that I'm looking for and I'm trying to just find a good part that people would like and that I like. I just don't know how I want it to start, man. See, I think that's a pretty good start. I feel like it, it moves pretty quickly. It goes from thing to thing. Three Feet Forward, featuring Josh Fisher, produced by Lead Star. Bow. That last one, produced by Lead Star, holds longer than the others. We'll see kind of where we go next. I have like a few different songs that I, I can choose from, and I think this is a, a decent start. Um, today, when I first started, I was going to just like scrap it and just like find a new song and restart. When I started looking for a new song, I, I just couldn't find one. I like, ended up coming back and watching this, and I, I was like, you know what, it's not terrible. Hello, I'm feeling all right. Okay, so we have the intro completed. All right, this is the hook. The catching your attention and making you be like, oh, this is a cool energy and professional. Oh, this is this is cool. And like showing you a little bit of the struggle, a little bit of the, you know, the grind, um, but not showing the fact that he like didn't complete the race it's like yeah it was a grind but not showing it all right and i wanted to, to start with like a way to introduce josh in like an emotional way when he says hey i'm josh fisher it he actually just says josh fisher 
50 mile race <laughs> like like you would in the military like it's so like so classic josh i personally like really like this part like it comes in and it fades in and he starts talking the music is slow and it like builds i've really like tried to pace it with the music i, I, I so, think like, it's pretty powerful I, I am not quite sure where i'm gonna want to go next but i never really know where i'm gonna go next so I'll probably change the song soon after this one, and I want to actually start incorporating the, the day of dialogue. So, I've now worked on it for about three hours today, and I don't feel like I've gone forward. <laughs> uh, I had this whole section over here that I've taken out. I just don't know how I'm trying to start the actual story. Like, I feel like I've done, I've made two intros. That's what it kind of feels like. Now it's like, when, where does the story actually start? When you just watch this and you don't hear the backstory, you don't know what he's doing. Yeah, they're starting to get a sense of why he's doing it, but, but like, you don't know what he's doing. I don't know. I think I'm also iffy about this song. I'm iffy about how this one ends. I just don't think it's super great. Maybe I need a better song for this next part. I really don't know. I'm kind of kind of stuck i'll have to figure it out at some point soon <laughs> how did i get unstuck you might ask well it started with eight hours of me being stuck and then i worked directly with my coworker, and i was like showing her the film and showing her where i was stuck and why i was stuck the the turning point was when I said, let me just show you my options. <laughs> so I played the different options, explained them out. When I saw her kind of vibing with the second option, now I was like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I kind of like it too, now that I'm thinking about it. And then I placed something, I just put something there, and then, then I got unstuck. And then I just grinded through it. And then I knew it would flow once I figured that out. And I think it's like better than I, I it's much better than I had originally. So I, I'm really happy with it. I'm proud of myself. So here we are. We have a complete first episode of That's Leadership. And I am really proud of it. I think it does a really good job like telling the story in a concise way. The way I see it is there's like four chapters. Uh, there's the hook chapter here. Um, then there's the uh, intro to him and his backstory and then there's the actual race that uses a lot of like the audio during the race and then this last section is the post race and is like the reflections and his decision to stop and and whatnot so that's all in the post race i think there's a lot of techniques that i used in making this video that are like really complex storytelling techniques and it challenged me in a way that like not other films have done but i also felt like fully equipped i think it's long enough to tell a complete story but they're still left over to like let the viewer decide for themselves different things about how they want to perceive the story after this part where he's really low and mike his teammate helped him through it and gave him like a little pep talk then there's like this whole section that's like that's like just like a running montage of like run run running running he's killing it and it's like he's taking a break break running 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 like i think it's so i think it's cool i really like this section i feel really good about this i think that there's a lot of leadership advice and sprinkled throughout that like if you if somebody's watching it and they know it's about leadership then they can really like appreciate that but if they don't know it's about leadership that's okay too and they're, they're just gonna gain like that those subliminal messages of leadership so i think it i think it really all comes together and i'm really proud of it so i'm excited to hear what you guys think but i feel good about it i feel really good